Hey guys, even here, so California Pro 2023, the show happened yesterday and I'm making a video right now, I apologize for not breaking the news, but we're gonna do a little deeper analysis instead. The reason why I wasn't able to make a video yesterday is because I competed, as you can see, if you can recognize me, even uh, I was actually, I didn't plan on competing, I started a peak week for the next show next week and I had a bunch of carbs for two days and a whole bunch of water and salt and I was super watery, as you can see here, but I was bigger, like, I don't know, 15 pounds bigger than my usual stage weight. I heard they were giving away a pro card, elite pro card, if you win the overall, so I did compete, I did open bodybuilding and I won the overall of this show, this was open Balkan Cup as you can see, and yeah, I won a pro card, elite pro card, and the thing is guys, after my show, I really haven't cheated on my diet at all. I had one cheat meal and that was basically it, so I retained pretty solid conditioning, I am watery here, but my body fat percent is actually very low, I have striations on my glutes still, you're gonna see my conditioning in a week when I do another show, which I'm planning on doing also just for fun, because I stayed in really good shape and the reason why that happened is because, and why I didn't cheat, is because I have this new fix, new, new life hack basically, after a show, whenever you feel hungry, you just eat a lot of protein, like you have a bunch of meat, instead of eating like 6 ounces or 12 ounces of meat, you can have 20 ounces. Or you can add egg whites or my favorite, whey protein powder. Here's an example of a meal, chicken, an egg, some rice grits, and then the other bowl is rice grits with whey protein powder. Uh, flavors are uh, chocolate and strawberry, and then uh, a low-fat cheese on top of it with a bunch of uh, berries. So basically, you can eat all this food, and I'm eating it all day long, and it's not sticking. Like, your body is not efficient at, at turning protein into glucose, like uh, the gluconeogenesis process is not very efficient. And if you have enough carbs, your body is just gonna not, not process all the protein. Like, I'm not using these 600 grams of protein that I'm eating daily. I might be using half of that, the other half is just going through me and I'm enjoying these meals, they are not making me fat and they are delicious, they're almost as good as cheat meals, honestly, and you know what's gonna happen to your body, you don't get water, you don't gain a body fat, I am maintaining my high insulin sensitivity that I gained from uh, doing a show and getting into a really low body fat percent, so this is a real proper way to do a rebound, and when I'm making all these meals, here is an example, uh, grits and uh, whey protein powder and also a low-fat cheese with uh, whey protein powder. The protein powder they use is Old School Labs Vintage Brawn. And here is an example of a really good one, a rich chocolate, my favorite flavor. Also, it's very important that you don't buy a protein powder that is like, you know, watery type. Uh, this protein powder by the Old School Labs Vintage Brawn is thick. It's really thick and you can make all kinds of meals with it. You can choose whichever flavor you like, they're all very good, I just love chocolate, I, can, I can't have enough of it. And also Vintage Brown is not just a whey isolate, it's actually egg white and beef protein also, so it's more of a complete meal. The easiest way to find it is by clicking on the link in the description of this video, and also guys, if you wanna support me and this channel and, and help me keep making all this awesome content for you guys, the quickest way, the best way, the only way really to support me uh, is by using the code EVAN when buying your supplements. It really helps me a lot, it really means a lot. If you guys wanna try Vintage Brawn, just buy it, use the code EVAN, tag me on Instagram, tell me how you like it, or you need your supplement supply, whichever supplements you need, they're all on the Old School Labs website. Once again, guys, code EVAN, thank you. Now let's proceed to the show, California Pro, and we're gonna analyze this show pose by pose. Let's see what actually happened. This was your top two. It was not Sergio Oliva, he was not in that mix, neither was Beef Stew. And Beef Stew said that he doesn't really care about his momentum, his stock, and he can't really hurt it by doing another show. I think he did hurt it, but we're gonna talk about it in a second. Let's focus on the top two right here. I expect Antonio Burton to win this show handily, you know, easily. I did not see Ross Flanagan coming and coming this strong, man. <laughs> like, I, I knew about this guy. I mean, he has this, um, I don't know, a company that sells, I think, zero calorie ranches, something like that. I'm not sure. And I, and I listened to him on a podcast, uh, I think at Fuads, and he was really funny, like he was, he's a joker. And I didn't expect him to be this good of a bodybuilder. <laughs> like these legs, man, those legs are freaking insane. Like those are freaking tree trunks. 
like super big legs but what is more important what is more um, impressive is his conditioning you're gonna see that in a second when he turns around especially in the hamstrings and the glutes but as far as the front double let's analyze it honestly i have ross mainly because of the legs like upper body tonio has peakier biceps more of that bubbly look uh, smaller waist better we taper but those legs man on, on ross are just ridiculous so i have ross in this one because he's smoking him in the leg department and as far as the upper body they're kind of close tonio is a little bit more bubbly a little bit more 3d but they're very close now in the front lat i have ross easily his upper body flows really well in this pose he's popping his lats his waist also looks very small and he's very sharp to the shoulders and chest and arms and then you have the lower body that just looks ridiculous it, it, it absolutely dwarfs smokes tonio so yeah i have him in this one easily the next pose will be side chest pose and this one who oh, i'm not sure about this one this one is very close if you ask me now because of the glute striations and the hamstring drop i would go with ross and because of overall conditioning but as far as that bubbliness that 3d that pop that tonio has he's beating him because of that in the upper body you can't really see that big of a difference in conditioning uh, in the side chest uh, tonio is very conditioned for sure but <laughs> what ross brought is absolutely really crazy like he has that dorian yates gnarly grainy conditioning that's not some, that's something that you don't really see often anymore these days and he brought it back and i love it now as far as the lower body uh he uh the ross is not really dwarfing uh tonio in this one uh he is he's is dwarfing him from the front but from the sides you can't really see it that much also there is a difference in posing um, overall i don't know it's very close it's a toss-up for me but again because of conditioning because of that crazy super conditioning and because of the hamstring drop and the glutes uh, the striations in them yeah i'd give it to ross but it's very close I could, I could give it to tonio this one now in the back double you can see what i'm telling you exactly the conditioning is what's going to win this show ross's conditioning and tonio did not really miss the mark like he came in sharp sharp and full and very well conditioned but who the hell expected this guy to show up looking like i don't know like 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 a like a classic bodybuilding guy shredded like look at those glutes man look at the dryness in the glutes and the hamstrings and the lower back as well like this guy is peeled peeled man this is dorian yates kind of conditioning so yeah you can see the traps and, and like the width the thickness of the lats antonio and the shoulders and he's definitely better than than uh ross in that and also he has bigger glutes but the conditioning the conditioning is why ross is winning this one like same thing in the back double back lat sorry uh tonio has more mass but again the conditioning in the glutes especially in the hamstrings uh, this is the pose that looks horrible for both of these guys and i can't really decide but when uh ross do, does this look at the leg when he does that he wins the pose because of that and as far as the absent eyes, also not a great pose for either of these guys, for all bodybuilders, really, like majority of them. But it's absent ties. And when I see Ross's ties, yeah, I definitely think he deserved to win this one. Most muscular. It's hard not to give it to Tonio because he's so bubbly, but conditioning, man. Conditioning is what's gonna win this show. And I applaud for that. Yeah, Ross won later. Here is the second call out. So you had Sergio Oliva, that's right, and Beef Stew now in one of my previous videos I, I was talking about sergio and i said he has no chance of of we of winning this show and beating tonio burton and i was right but honestly i'm surprised how well sergio looked i think he's gonna place third uh, you can see that uh, beef stew is like very compact like he's very massive but he doesn't have the coloring the polish or the condition that sergio does so i have him in my fourth but sergio brought it like i was not expecting him to look this good i thought he was gonna look much much worse than he's looking i thought he was gonna be much less conditioned and i didn't expect him to be able to peak because he just came into the us and like i said in my previous video as long as he keeps competing in the next uh, season in the next coming shows and uh, he keeps improving a little bit by little bit i think he's gonna click uh, eventually in win a pro show and qualify for the olympia because he was 
actually much closer to winning this show than you might think. Like, yeah, he was in the first callout, but I think he was flat. Like, you can especially see it in his lower back. Like, that's the area uh, that it's not that he's not dry. Like, he's dry, but it's so depleted. His body is so depleted. He really wasn't able to peak properly. But again, third place here is a huge success for somebody who just traveled from Dubai to US and also not knowing for the past month whether he's gonna be able to travel and to compete. Considering all that, he looked amazing. Like his conditioning was really not an issue. Like he was holding some water in his lower back, but like he was really diced. And the reason why he didn't place higher, why he didn't win this show, it's not conditioning. Like his conditioning is decent. It, it, but he just wasn't overall as complete. He has some uh, glaring weaknesses. Like here in the front double, biceps could be peakier, lats could be inserted lower. So he does have some genetic disadvantages. Uh, from the sides, it was pretty good. You could see how conditioned he was. And he was shredded, man. Like those glutes and hamstrings and side leg. He was definitely very shredded. From behind, you can see that he was really lean because of the glutes. But you can see like, his lower back and his back overall was definitely holding some water. I'm guessing it's co it's a combination of stress, maybe not really nailing the, the macros, like the carbs and water and stuff like that. Like, I, I think it's a peak week mistake, and I think he's going to be able to fix it in the upcoming shows. Anyways, he's in the US now, and uh, yeah, I believe he's going to win a pro card eventually once he figures out the fullness and the conditioning, a perfect ratio. And if he keeps competing, he's going he's gonna to do that. So we'll see. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Tell me how you liked it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe. Go to the Old School Labs website. Check out Vintage Brown and all the other supplements. Buy whichever one. Use code Ivan. Thank you so much, guys, for watching all these videos. All the best, guys. And bye-bye.